Good morning everybody and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Today is Thursday and it's a stay at home day. We're not going anywhere today, we're not doing anything. We might go out for a walk this afternoon if the weather brightens up. It's actually not looking too bad at the moment. It's stopped pouring down with rain so we might be able to get out. Um, yeah, I have got um, three bags that I need to make. I've had three, well, I've had an order and so I have to make some bags. Um, I bought some of the material, but the other bits arrived today so I can get on with them now. Hopefully I'll get them out by the weekend. I have um, also sorted out a massive pile of fabric to make some other bags. Um, and yeah, it's just a doing day today. I've got some household chores to do, a little bit of ironing. So today might be a bit of a boring one, um, possibly lots of chat. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say because when I'm at home, it's not very exciting. It's just day to day life. I, did, um, I didn't buy anything from the garden centre yesterday. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to. I would have loved to have bought things from the garden centre, but they was just not in our... Uh, price range our budget at all um i i am looking for um fairy lights a few sets of them for different places um but yeah it was just completely out of our league there so i did say to tim this morning maybe we could go on a nice bus ride because tim and i do go on the bus every now and then because it gives him a break in driving and he's um, 10 years older than me tim so he has a bus pass so we only have to pay for me so it's quite a cheap do um, that sounds like we're really mean and we're not. We're just, you know, sensible in our retirement age, I, I guess. And just, you know, trying to be as comfortable as we possibly can. Um, so, yeah, we've decided that we might go for a ride on Saturday into our local town. Because apparently the weekend is supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed to be a really nice Saturday and Sunday. Highs of 21 and 22. So, fingers crossed, let's hope. So we're going to go into the town and maybe have a look for some um, lights there. A couple of my viewers have said that Primark have got nice lights in. So yeah, we'll just have a wander around and see what happens there. Um, but then we went on to Black Sheep and as you saw, I can't help myself. It's ridiculous. I just cannot help myself. I did restrain myself, to be fair. I only bought a few things for me. I bought a couple of balls of style craft, style craft as you've seen. Um, and a couple of balls of the Rico Rico room. It they did have um, the Rico make along box, if you like, with all the yarns in. And um, this year's make along, it's I think they look like cuddly toys, like lovies that are displayed in a ring. And I showed you a couple of the rings, but I thought I'm not, it's just ridiculous. I'm not, I'll just be forever crocheting Christmas and I don't really want to I want to you know do other things um and I want to join in um oh well I'll tell you about that later on I'm going to tell you about joining in um with another podcaster um making things in November but I'll talk about that later um but let me show you what I'm going to do Excuse me. So I think I've shown you this before, but my lovely friend Karen from Stitches and Jacks bought me this last Christmas and I never, ever got round to doing anything. Um, not that I didn't want to. I would have loved to. Have, we all know, don't we? We would love to have made everything, but I just didn't have the time. Time run out. Um, but it's so adorable. So I've decided I might, because I want to do other things, I might make a smaller version so I'm not sure what size ring this is. I'm sure it will tell you in here. And I'm, this is one of the reasons why I want to go to our town. Let me just see if it tells you what kind of ring you will need. Da, 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 da. No, it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you what you'll need. Anyway, um, I am going to try and make a smaller version of that. So how, how? However big that is, I'm going to see if I can get a smaller ring so I can easily fill it. Um, so that is what I want to do. I want to do that for where my Halloween wreath is now. I want on my door going into the kitchen. I want this there for um, Christmas. But look at this. That is going to be the first thing I make. I love it. And it's all made with Rico Rico Rume. It's Sue Stratford. Um... And it's a beautiful book. It's got one of those covers that's really nice. You know what I'm like with um, 
texture and tactile and oh it just feels lovely in your hands and when you do this oh I love the smell of new books I know that's daft isn't it my daughter's an avid reader an avid reader can't tell you how many books a month she reads and she does book clubs and all sorts and she always smells her new books she said she loves the smell of freshly printed paper crazy in it but hey I'm sure there's a name for that apart from la la <laughs> I'm not really la well yeah I am you all know I'm a bit daft so I want a smaller version of that so I had these red and green to make the um holly leaves and the berries and then I just needed this colour which I think can't remember what colour it is it's like a mint and I just needed three of them well I already had one um, I think I've probably got too many if I'm going to downsize my wreath, but never mind, bet to have a little bit too much than not enough. So, yeah, I need to start on that as well. But I'm not starting on anything Christmassy until November, because I'm still doing autumnal decorations and hats and, yeah. Anyway, I'm going now because I'm waffling and I need to get on with sewing bags. So hopefully I shall see you later. Bye. <music> finished constructing the three bags there's this one with the little black cats on I love this one but I do like this one this is my favorite that I've made this this year and um, the one with the bats on so I've done I finished constructing the outsides whilst um, watching lovely Karen from stitches and jacks but look I'm running out of cotton and I've got the linings to do yet and construct the whole bag together so it's now a trip out to the local um, fabric shop. So I shall be back in a little while to finish my bags. So I've just got back from getting my cotton and I'm just having a cup of tomato soup with some bread and then I'm going to get back to my sewing. But let me show you what I got while I was there. I got a ring and this is a smaller ring um, for my Christmas wreath. Um, can't re I don't know how big that. How big do you think this ring is, love? I know. What do you want it in centimeters or well, it's about inches, about, please? Or inches, about seven inches diameter. So it's about seven inches. I wonder Outside. if. Let me show you. What? Let me see if it's the same size. No, it's smaller than that. Oh, it's smaller than that. Yes. Yeah, so that's better, isn't it? It won't take me as long to hopefully do it. So yeah. So I'm just going to have my lunch and then I'm going to get back to my sewing good evening everybody it is now 6 30 um the day has just run away with me i have been so busy doing all sorts of things i've made the bags for my customer pack them got them sorted ready to go um i've done loads of housework that you didn't want to watch and i have sat for about half an hour well no maybe a bit longer actually it's probably about an hour and did a little bit of knitting at uh, crocheting took Zach for a walk um it's been a bit of a boring day for you today I'm really really sorry but before I go there's a couple of things that I wanted to show you I have almost finished my decorative autumnal candle here it is that's I mean obviously it's not finished because I've still got to put 
the this is the half of orange and then there's a star anise that I haven't crocheted yet and I'm going to put that on there so this one will then be done um it's quite um a nifty way to construct it really yeah it's quite good the back looks a bit untidy well not untidy but I can't get the strings straight but I'm not showing them yet because they're straight at the front and that's all that matters um that goes there um it's a paid for pattern so I don't want to say too much but it's very cleverly constructed all this here it moves around and everything it's really really cleverly constructed anyway I'm hoping to get the star anise done tonight so that'll go on there and then the star anise goes on there and then that will be one done um it didn't take me half as long as I expected it to to be fair so I might be able to get the other two done but I'm not going to stress out over it because like I've said to you before there's that many other things that I want to make um if it don't get done it don't get done at least I've made a start so that is what I did this afternoon I've had to put my warm fleecy jacket on because I was so cold sorry about my appearance I always drag my hair back when I'm working um and I just briefly wanted to talk to you about I mentioned this morning that in November one of the new YouTubers that I've recently started following now I'm not 100% sure I think it's hmm, I think it might be called ginger cat crochet something like that and i think the lady is called pamela now i could be completely wrong with all them names you know what i'm like so if i am please forgive me if you're watching i will put the correct title and the lady's correct name on the screen but what i'll do is i'll put a link to her channel down below and her last video what she said she fancied doing was making throughout November um, Christmas things. Um, she'll explain it better than I can. I'm not very good at explaining things like that. But she just asked if anybody else fancied taking... No, it's not um, a crochet along or anything like that. It's just for fun, I think. Um, so I said, oh, I've just bought myself um, a new nativity set that I wanted to crochet. And again, whether that'll get done or not, who knows? But I'm going to start it because hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be other Christmases to come. Um, and I said, oh, I wouldn't mind taking part in that and uh, crocheting along with you. So, yeah, please do go over and check this lady out. I'm sure it's Pamela, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, and check this lady out and... Um, have a listen to what she's got to say and you never know we could all be crocheting something together for Christmas throughout November so that's what I wanted to tell you really and then the last thing can you see on my ironing board here all these beautiful colours let me briefly explain to you I don't know if you remember a while back I treated myself to a journal let me get it for you bear with me I bought this from Black Sheep and it is um, a crochet journal. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm not going to go through it all, but it's got all sorts of things in. You can um, put your projects in, what, you, what you're working on. So you can, oh, I'll tell you what it says here on the side here. Can you see all that? So it says projects, planning, patterns and stash. Well, I bought this because I wanted to make the Persian tiles blanket in this colourway. Now, there is a story behind this colourway, apparently. I'm not 100% sure what it is, so I'm not going to get into it. But the yarn that's used for this is from the States. So I decided that when I went to um, Black Sheep, I would treat myself to one of these packs. Anyway, when I got there, they they did have these packs on the stall but I was absolutely I won't say disgusted listen to doc I was just a, a bit reluctant is the word because they had the packs they were beautiful but it was 80 pounds or 77.95 something like that to make the Persian tiles and which I don't mind 
but it was all acrylic yarns. And I just thought, I'm not paying 80 pounds for an acrylic blanket. So I've decided that although I love this colorway and I was going to try and get it as close as I could because I would still love to do this, but it, I was feeling a bit put out, if you like. And the only reason it was £80 is because the acrylic yarn has come all the way from the States. So obviously it's had to go into shipping containers and that's costing and blah, de blah, de blah. So yeah, it, that's why it's so expensive. But you can make the Persian tiles by Cheney Crow. Um, they sell packs at Black Sheep for £34 on, in all style craft. And I just thought, mm -mm, I'm not paying double and a little bit more for acrylic yarn. I know that sounds maybe a little bit mean, but, you know, I, you've got to sort of, sometimes you have to do what's right, don't you? And I thought, it's just, it's not happening. I'm not paying that much money for acrylic. Anyway, I'm babbling. So look at these here. So I was rooting, not rooting, that's not the correct term. I was looking on Janie's um, Instagram page and she does all different colourways. There's so many different colourways for the Persian tiles. Can you hear the ice cream van? Can you hear it? So there's so many colourways for the Persian tiles. Anyway, I was looking through to see if I could get some inspiration and I found one. Now, I will put a picture up for you to see um, what I'm actually doing, the colourway. And some of these I have bought. I bought a couple of balls from Black Sheet when I went yesterday. I will have to buy more, but what I'm trying to do is use it out of my stash. But if I run out and I have to replace it, I'm not going to be too bothered because I shall just dot them all around. So if it's a different dye lot, it, they won't be next to each other. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm going to take you over here now and I'm going to show you what I've got. So I'm really sorry it's quite dark because it is dark outside. Um, yeah, and it's not particularly bright in here. But this is the colourway that I have gone for look at those colours. I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, over the weekend, I am going to make one tile, just one tile like that. And I'm going to follow the colourway that Janie Crow did on her Instagram um, page. She's put a picture up and I'm going to see how it looks. So that is the colour. And I'm going to see how it looks when it's crocheted up. And if it looks as good as hers, then I am definitely going to do this colourway. So these are the two that I got yesterday from Black Sheep. This is, I think that's navy. Oh, French navy. Now, I want to say that that's meadow, but I don't think it is. I think meadow is maybe slightly darker than that. This is buttermilk. I think this is gold. If I've got it wrong, please do tell me um, because I'm not good with these names and I would love to know. But as you can see, I haven't got any of the ball bands on. This one is vintage peach. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what that is. And the only reason I know what this is, which is gingerbread, is because I borrowed it from somewhere else. So if... I will put it back is what I'm trying to say, yeah. If I do use it, that'll go back into another blanket that I'm doing. So yeah, that is my colourway. So I'm going to do that over the weekend. Like I say, just one tile. Right, so now I've shown you everything, I'm going to go. We haven't had dinner yet. We're late having dinner tonight. Um, and I shall be back again tomorrow. No plans for tomorrow again. So I don't know what we'll be doing, but whatever I'm doing you know, I'll take you with me. I'm going to see if I can get Tim to take me out somewhere. I'm not sure. We've had a look at the weather and the weather for tomorrow is horrendous. Um, it did say it was going to be nice on Saturday and Sunday and I've had a look at that and the temperature has dropped from 22 degrees to 18 and 19. So who knows? Who knows what the week will bring? But next week is the birthday, the start of my birthday week. So I'm hoping... I am hoping. I'll be getting all giddy and nothing will happen. That's just typical, isn't it? But I am hoping I shall get visits from family 
or Tim will um, surprise me. Oh, he probably won't. Yeah, you watch. It'll probably be just a flop. But I don't care because I've got you with me and that's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now because I'm going to go and help make dinner. Well, I'm not. I'm going to go and set the table and see to drinks. So, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night and happy crafting. Bye.